Okay, so I guess it's leg day. And abs. But I'm not gonna do the whole routine on camera. So, of course, uh, I, one of the re other reasons why I have this Kestrel is to train myself for fatherhood, you know, if the opportunity does arise. Uh, that is unless people, other people continue to get into my way, which will result in your imprisonment. I guarantee it. Because this culture that we've developed and that we're encroaching upon of totalitarian communism just ain't right, man. It just ain't right, okay? This elitist attitude, you know, <laughs> fuck you. Blow me. So many people out there think they know what's good for you, but the only person that actually knows what's good for you, well, of course, within reason and moral obligation, is you. So, I have a 35-pounder in my Kestrel here, and I have my 50 and my 42. So, what does that add up to? Well, 50 plus 42 is 92 pounds, plus 35 pounds, oh, that's 127 pounds. If, I, if I'm correct. And I'm probably correct. Now, when I was a Staples delivery driver here in London, right, visiting all the important and powerful people, get, you know, delivering on time, almost all the time, and dealing with, you know, some unscrupulous bosses and their slavery, quite frankly, you know, for the amount of effort that they have to do, getting cents on, uh, you know, I don't know how many cents or whatever, how many dollars per delivery each day. You know, it drove, it drove that the pressures of that job, plus the, the ancillary stuff outside of the job, drove one of my co-workers to a suicide attempt. And this isn't a joke. John was his name. His name is John, if we're going to do the Fight Club thing here. You know, he had two sons. He lived outside of town. I did an oil change at his house and he, he, we, we drank. And uh, he fed me steak. You know, I was, I was uncomfortable with being there, but you know what? It was probably better that I stayed with them and gave them company because, you know, what we do to some men and what we do to some people because of who they are and what they represent is disgusting. And to freeze people out because you don't like them or you don't like their, their intellect, their talent, and their strength and their fortitude, fuck you. Right here. Sit on it and rotate. I ain't got time for you. Fuck six. I don't have anger in my heart. I have rage. I have rage. Rage at the dying of the light. How many opportunities have been just handed to people? Just handed to them. For politics and power. And the domination. And the diminutive... Uh, manipulation of psychopaths and people rich people most very powerful people that don't know when to stop and they hide behind all of these uh, terms and, and 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 legal definitions and they hide behind other countries they hide behind other legislation other jurisdictions and they manipulate and they twist and they stab you in the back I know what humanity is because I was a drill sergeant and I've seen the very best and the very worst of people by the time I was 19 years old. Do you know what it's like to be responsible for a hundred people at 13 years uh, that, that are a hundred, hundred children, one, zero, zero. Okay. And I learned this and I was empowered by the Canadian armed forces whether they like it or not, and the Air Cadet League, and my squadron, and yet rumors and gossip destroyed my life. They destroyed it. Even my own family. Because of my talent, because of my, my good looks, and my character, and because, you know, I stopped going to church. That we love and heathen like psychedelics. Yeah? Well, you know what? Mysticism is all about 
alter his states of consciousness by means of drugs, by means of ritual, and by means of right, R-I-T-E. So I think that I have every right to be filled with rage. Don't you? I think it's time to get angry and it's time to have some retribution and some justice and to purify the soul of, of Canada of this infection. And we're gonna give it that injection. And we're gonna we're gonna, you know, we're gonna get all energized, we're gonna have a nice party, and then we're gonna say goodbye to these movements and, and these 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 harms against our mental well-being by foreign actors and uh, you know shit disturbers that have malicious intent. I don't have malicious intent when I, I, I'm a shit disturber. I'm trying to show someone something. I'm trying to show uh, that person where their behaviors go wrong. And you know what? That in itself is a path to hell. But by my example, thy own self be true. And I never wavered from that because I love my fellow man. And I love my fellow woman. But don't misinterpret my words. We got shit to do, okay? And how much work is going to be to repair the harm caused to all of us? Because of what we have as Canadians. What we have as North America. And what, our, what richness our culture has brought to the rest of the world. And I don't say this out of elitist terms. I say this out of, out of having done the hard work in my entire life. A personal anecdote, okay? There was a stage show in Nova Scotia, in Picto, Lobster Fest, or whatever it was. And I was on stage. I, 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 I can't remember if this exactly, but you know, small world, right? Ashley McKaysen and other local acts from Nova Scotia. New Brunswick, Newfoundland. <sighs> it's time to make a change. And let's be the change that we want to see in the world. Because that's how I wanted to be. That's who I wanted to be when I was younger. And that's who I am now. And I will not apologize. I will not be ignored. Because I deserve better and I deserve more than so many other people that exploit the system and exploit other people and the best intents, best intentions. If you don't put the work in, you ain't getting the meat. If you don't produce, you don't get the meat. Simple as that. Simple as that. Out there, out there in the real world, outside of the insular microcosm, that a lot, a lot of you out there as creative people and as, as powerful people, the insulated world that you live in, it doesn't exist. Security is a fallacy. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. So again, the choice is either put your head back in the sand or do something about it. Because if you, you know, evil continues, evil prospers. When good people do nothing. So squats before shots. Okay? Harden the fuck up. Sticks and stones may break my bones. But they will never hurt my body. Or they'll never hurt my emotions. Sorry. You know? Again, how much have we given up of our culture? For other people. How many people have we cut the legs out from underneath? How many times have we, should, we cut off our nose to spite our face? How many? How many went quietly? How many killed themselves for this shit? To be martyrs for some cause? To be remembered instead of trying to get past all the stuff, all the transgressions, all the, the trespasses. How many of these venues have been closed?
How many creative people have paid the price? I want you to think about that. Well, I work out and I put the sweat in because it's 90% perspiration and 10% 10, 10 inspiration. Don't ever fucking forget that. I haven't.